when you signed back with the Patriots, mm-hmm. people were sort of shocked by that because they thought something went wrong there, which led to your departure from New England. And good for you. You went to, you went to the Titans. You got paid. But what was it like coming back and how we're facing some of those questions as to what the hell happened in Minnesota? Um. Like coming back to New England, it was, it was, it, it, you know, that's what my fan base said, and they love me up there. You know, I got respect for Bill Belichick. You, and you and Bill are good. Yeah, yeah, but uh, it, it's different now. You know, the, it's, 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 you got the younger coaches. Uh, so you see the difference from we talk about that purge of taking great, great assistance away. You see that it's different. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's different. You got younger coaches. You got different players. You like it's just, a, it's, it's, it's just different a little bit. Same rules. Same grind. It's just different. It just feels a little different. Are these players more entitled, the younger players? Like it's the, or a little more like you can't criticize or coach them hard? Ah, you, you know, hey, you, you can't even hit in the head Be no honest. more in the yeah. NFL. Yeah. So um, but I think, Malcolm, I think it's probably the biggest question that Boston sports fans have that has gone unanswered, which is why didn't you play in the game in Minnesota? Like I always say, man, it was a coaching decision, but uh, it was a coach's decision. But um, I, man, I, I really don't know, man. I got it's a documentary coming out. There is. Oh, it's a documentary coming out where I'm talking about all that I did that with some of the guys in uh, New England. Yeah. And uh, I got a book coming out also, so I ain't gonna spill the beans all of them right now. But okay. yeah, yeah, it, it'll be Good something tease, to look Malcolm. forward to. Did you get an answer as to why? Because th- that was kind of the, the prevailing theory. Well, Malcolm knows why and Bill knows why. And I always said, well, only maybe only Bill knows why. I think he only know why because I, I don't know why. I, I, I don't know. Why. It's a coaching decision. I did play, though. I had did, yeah. I, I had one pump return. Rep. Yeah. 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 That wasn't enough. No. Have no. you? Have no. you? No. Um, we all wanted you. Everybody wanted <laughs> no, you in that game. Me. Everybody yeah. wanted try, you in that try game. Calling um, that, try calling that game for four hours. And a, your head like, what the hell is going there's on? There's a six-state region that yeah. would agree with that. Yeah. That would agree that yeah. that was not enough. Did yeah. he ever get? Did he ever explain it to you? Like for coming back, we figured, well, they must have talked about him. Bill must have had some kind of explanation as to. See the thing about it, like, no, he didn't give me an explanation. But like all the rumors that was going around, why I didn't play. If I did something so bad, why did I come back? That's what we said. Yeah. Well, do you know the rumor? Do you want to know the rumor? And the there's a conspiracy theory on that. Oh, there are several. Oh, there's. I mean, you know that there are many conspiracy theories about why you didn't play. Oh man, the I rumors, heard. I right? heard a lot. I so, heard a lot. So you've heard those. Yeah. Okay. The one about you coming back is that it was because you uh, were such a pro about this after the fact. You didn't have any you know, interviews where you had outbursts about why didn't I play, that you were a pro about it, and you said it was a coaching decision, and you moved on, that it was like a a thank you, like a hush money thing, like Malcolm's a pro, he kept that in-house, we want to bring him back and, you know, give him a contract here at the end. Um, well, you know what, man, it's, that probably could have been one, but like, I'm just going to be me anyway. I'm a respectable guy, I'm not going to bring no attention to myself if, 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 like, if, if I don't need to, but like you never know where you who you gonna need or yeah, yeah. where you gotta go back to. Uh, probably you probably right. Probably just a respect thing or whatever. Yeah. Oh, but like we've had we've had corners that come through so here. Bad. You know, they, they've done, done a hell of a lot more than you supposedly ever you know, mentioned or did. Yeah, they're pretty much you know. You, you, <laughs> Bill's. That's one thing about Bill. He's always been able to replace the previous guy at corner. Mm-hmm. Why is that? He just got an eye for talent. Defense? I think just period. Cornerbacks, he, Bill Belichick can find cornerbacks. Not receiver. That's not his. He can't find We're still, still no. looking. Oh, We're no. still looking. Corners, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Corners is a, it's after a hot Julian, spot after for After Julian, we're still looking yeah. after Julian. <laughs> <laughs> you lose Julian and Rob, it's, it's, it's yeah, been it's tough. A, it's tough. It's tough. Who, Julian, Rob? That's, that's, I mean, you had Hogan. I mean, you guys oh, won Super Bowl yeah. for Hogan and, um, yeah. and Philip Dorsett. I mean, that's crazy. Yeah, man. Hogan. Danny Amendola. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The jet killer. That's right. When you say it's different, do you think maybe the different part in coming back last year was that Tom Brady wasn't there? Man, Tom Brady make a difference a lot. Uh, I don't know. Oh shit, I don't know, man. Tom, it's Tom Brady, man. It's, 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 it's going to be tough without Tom Brady. You know, they seen what they do with each other, and they see what they can do without each other. You know, it wasn't just one of them. They worked together. They both made each other great. What were your impressions of Mac Jones? Uh, Mac Jones, the year 
before I got there, he was, you know, what they were, 10 and 11? 10 and 7. 10 and 7. That, yep. that, 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 was yep. that was one game from single digit winning. Um, I, 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 you know, I don't know if it's the coach, the offense coordinator, or or him. I, I, I don't know. I'm not trying to judge or, you know, throw nobody under the bus. But you shocked Matty P was calling the offense plays. Yeah, I, I, I was shocked. I, I was kind of shocked that he was uh, doing offense. Matty P, Matty P is a, a defensive guy, 100. Yeah. percent He's a defensive guy. Like, not saying offensive guys are soft, but he like. He like tough guys, and tough guys play defense. There you go. I like that. Yeah. Malcolm, great to see you here on Radio Row oh, in, great, in Phoenix, which is uh, great memories for the Super Bowl and Super Bowl 49. And this is, again, Revive. You use these? By Mueller Sports. You use right? these? Most Put these on? I had, I had them on yesterday before I got down here. Your, yes, agent, your agent, he wear He wears them all the time. Yep. 